This video will discuss the conjugate gradient algorithm for energy minimization or geometry optimization in computational chemistry. Okay, so in our last two videos, we looked at energy minimization or geometry optimization, where we're trying to get a set of low energy coordinates where our structure is at some minimum energy configuration of all of our molecular XYZ coordinates. And I mentioned that the, one of the simplest algorithms for doing that is what's called steepest descent, where I just at each step, step in the direction of the gradient, and then eventually settle down towards a local minimum structure. And I mentioned that that algorithm is fairly uh, crude and simple, and that most modern programs use more advanced uh, procedures than that. And one such more advanced enemy energy minimization algorithm is called the conjugate gradient. So the main thing that all these ad more advanced methods do that steepest descent does not do is they do what's called using the step history to accelerate our convergence. So conjugate gradient is basically the same type of algorithm as steepest descent except in the step where you update the coordinates. So if you look in that video, the steepest descent in the step where I update my coordinates, the next uh, iteration's coordinates xi plus 1 is equal to the current iteration's coordinates xi minus a value gamma times the gradient of our potential energy function. So it, taking the negative gradient, stepping towards the direction of decreasing potential energy, and doing it by some uh, magnitude of gamma. And there are various methods for selecting gamma. The, the method I mentioned is using a line search. You kind of just keep guessing points until you start to get a minimum energy in that particular direction. So in steepest descent, we just use this uh, gamma and we step purely in the direction of the gradient. In conjugate gradient, instead, what we use is we step in the direction not only of the gradient, but some... Uh, additional step which indicates the history of all of the previous steps that we've had. So this value h here, this is another vector, just as our gradient is a vector, so a direction to move in. The This h vector is our gradient plus, then we have uh, this value beta times the previous step. So basically it's taking into account what the previous step was and kind of doing an effective uh, weighted average for uh, our different steps between the current and previous gradient. A lot of times for various functions in steepest descent, you get what's called these kind of kinked oscillations back and forth as you're going towards the minimum, whereas conjugate gradients will usually have a history of uh, getting very, very close to the, to the minimum in a, in a dramatically smaller number of steps often. So there are various methods for choosing what these values of gamma are, for choosing what the value of beta is, for how strongly you mix in the previous steps, and for choosing what your uh, uh, step alteration vector is for the initial step. There are many algorithms which are called uh, preconditioned, where you have to do some type of initial uh, setting this vector to something based off of all these values. And then there are even more advanced methods than conjugate gradient that you could use for optimization. Things like newton raphson uh, and then the one that most modern geometry optimization programs use would be something called rational function optimization and uh, various others which have nice kind of numerical recipes. Some of them work better for some kinds of functions than others. Um, very, very often the types of energy functions you see in um, computational chemistry are fairly related to one another. So there might be various numerical tricks that are baked in there. Uh, oftentimes these can be thousands or tens of thousands of lines of code which are specialized for the specific application at hand. So in the program that I've been demoing my optimization uh, from the previous couple videos, I'm just using steepest descent, uh, sometimes conjugate gradient, and I'm using a simple line search for getting the value of this gamma. That's going to cause me to take a large number of steps, but uh, I did not want to spend years coding this before I just got a working demo to use in these chapters for you to see.